Oftentimes, when we think about something like rhythmic renewal, and what I mean by that is that we are, we are taking frequent, focused, mini breaks every single day. And that might sound simple. It might sound obvious. Right? But there's a lot of science behind this. Here is a uh, study that was done. It was conducted out of Microsoft. And what, what they did is they gave everybody an electroesophilography cap, or what is sometimes known as an EEG cap. And what the cap does is it actually scans brain activity. And in some ways, we can understand the stress level of what's happening inside the human brain. And what they did is they divided the sort of study group into two different groups. And there were people who took no breaks throughout the day. Right? So they were going from back to back to back to back meetings, the way that a lot of us do. And then they compared that to a group of people that had the same number of meetings, but they were taking little breaks in between. Right? And here's what happened. When we look at the group that took no breaks, what you'll find is that the stress level in a, in a, in a given day will start out with, with very little stress, right? and then almost immediately bounce into stress mode. And we're in stress mode for pretty much the rest of the day. And then there's a little bit of a relief at the end of the day. Right? The day's about to end. We're about to go home. And so we start to feel a little bit less stress. But this tends to be the pattern that almost all of us go through every single day, especially those of us who are back to back to back. Right? And then they compared that to people, again, same number of meetings, but that what they were doing is they were building in little breaks in between. And here's what happened. Right? Well, just by taking little breaks in between, they were able to stay fresh throughout the day. So these four different scans, there's almost no change in stress level, almost no change in brain activity. Right? So what does this mean for us? Like, how do we interpret this? Well, here's one thing I would like you to think about. Imagine if in the middle of the day you were meeting with an important client. Right? Or imagine if in the middle of the day you were actually meeting with a team about something really, really urgent. Right? And then compare your stress level in those two different scenarios. The scenario where you took no breaks and the scenario where you took breaks. Right? And, and the reason this matters, of course, is that those meetings that happen in the middle of the day right, can be just as important as the meetings that we have in the first thing, part, part of the day, but we're not as fresh. We're not as engaged. Right? We know that engagement is critical to getting anything done. Right? We, we know that. That's stating the obvious. But engagement isn't just about the number of hours that we put towards a task. It's about the quality of the energy that we bring to it. So if the quality of the energy you're bringing to your work and the quality of the energy you're bringing to the people around you is more like the top row than it is the bottom row, then you're not doing your best work. So this is why when we look at leaders from all different walks of life, and we're talking about business, we're talking about investing, sports, politics, they're taking frequent, focused breaks every single day. 